Hey, it's Andy from SmartWP, and today I want to talk about a plugin that every WordPress developer that is using Gutenberg should know about. Now, I will admit this took me way too long to figure out. Bear with me while I explain the use case. So, have you ever installed block plugins and then wanted to remove them and then you didn't know where the blocks were used on your site? So, for example, you've made 10 Gutenberg pages and you used a couple plugins and then you realize later that you want to remove that plugin, but you don't know where the blocks are that you want to remove. So, for me personally, I was using the plugin called Genesis Blocks, and I realized that it was actually slowing down my site and I wanted to remove it. Uh, no hate to that plugin specifically, but I wanted to remove it. And you may know this, that if you go to your plugins and you go and deactivate the plugin that you want to remove that is adding the blocks, and then we're going to go to our post, and you can see now that you get an error because you don't have that plugin installed. Really annoying because you could have blocks all over the place that you don't know what is using the plugin. And that is what I'm going to show you today is how to figure out how to remove a block plugin without breaking your entire site, basically. And we're going to do that using a plugin called Find My Blocks. This is actually, I, I'm amazed by how good this plugin is. It should be built in to Gutenberg, in my opinion. So let's go back to our plugins. And I'm going to turn on Genesis Blocks again. And we're going to go to Plugins and we're going to go to Add New. And we're going to add the plugin called Find My Blocks. So just type find my blocks. You can see here it only has a thousand active installs. So let me activate it. And this plugin actually adds a new option under tools and you can see find my blocks. So on this site here, for example, I have um, a lightweight accordion. That's a plugin I made and then Genesis blocks and you can see uh, and generate blocks. You can see Genesis blocks is used in one post and that's the one that I just showed you. Lightweight accordion is used in two posts. Now, if I wanted to remove lightweight accordion, I could use this plugin to find where this block is used, go in there, edit the pages and remove where the block is used and use an alternative or you know whatever I'm doing, for example. Um, of course, you can go over here and turn on the core blocks. Um, that's not really a useful feature in my opinion since you're gonna wanna use the core blocks probably. Uh, but overall, a great plugin. So for example, if I go over to Genesis blocks and I can go and edit this page, and you can see the call to action box here is actually using uh, Genesis blocks. So let me remove that block. And you probably want to replace it with something. Uh, right now, I'm just going to skip over that. But on your, on your pages, you're going to actually want to replace it. And let me go back over to find my blocks. And you can see now that we're not using anything from Genesis blocks. So now we know that we can safely deactivate the plugin and it won't destroy any of our pages. Overall, a really useful plugin. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're doing a lot of work in Gutenberg. Uh, it makes adding or moving plugins for Gutenberg a lot easier and, and a lot more manageable. And that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. A really obscure use case, but it helped me a lot. So I just wanted to share it with you all. I hope this video was helpful. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, thanks again for watching. See ya.